catalysts are not things that change themselves, are not things that benefit from the process, but are things that facilitate how things happen. And catalysts in my life have been teachers, have been my mum, but have also been children. And I will take this time, I'm only going to show you two pictures, I'm going to take this time to talk about three children who had a very, very big impact on my life. One of them was a little girl called Karina, a four-year-old, Irish, blonde hair, little turned up, cute nose, came to visit with her mum and dad to our little flat in Lalmatia. And I remember it was a little bit like this. How many of you saw the moon last night? Yes, wasn't it beautiful? Yeah. So this was a moonlit night. And Karina was on that veranda in a little white dress, dancing in the moonlight. And I, it was magical. I remember it. Uh, later, about a year later, I, I had a show in Belfast. And her parents, Paddy and Deborah, had a little flat in a small town called Newry, very close to um, Belfast. And I'd go out during the day. One day I'm coming back. And they did have a big house. And Karina's, Karina was moved to mum and dad's room so Uncle Shahidul could have a room for himself. Um, so I'm back um, in at the end of the day and I'm emptying my pockets. I put some coins on the table. And Karina's at the doorway. Usually when she sees me, she runs up to me, jumps onto my lap. You know, we hug and we kiss and we tell each other stories. But on that day, she's standing there at the doorway, quizzical. I say, what's the matter, Karina? She looks at me and goes, you've got money? I said, yes, I've got money. But, but you're from Bangladesh. Now, she couldn't make it fit. This five-year-old girl suddenly cannot make that equation work. And that got me thinking, you know, what sort of an educational, cultural environment does a five-year-old girl in Belfast or wherever grow up in where she is incapable of seeing this beautiful country that I live in, this wonderful space, the culture, the heritage that I've known as my own, but yet only recognize me as an icon of poverty. And that got me thinking, and that was precisely why I took on photography because I recognized what a powerful tool it was, the fact that here was a tool that was largely being used by white Western photographers to create an identity for me that I did not identify with. Uh, so that became the basis of the agency that I, that I run and an opportunity to tell stories.